Welcome back guys, this is episode 16 part 3. Now in this part we are going to start implementation of the onboarding section. Now the first thing we need to do is to make sure that our composables are pointing to the domain model class that we created. So expand the own package and then expand the onboarding um, package here. Open onboarding user item .kt file. Now this follows user here is uh, the one that we created inside common.dummy data here in the android app module we have uh, these uh, dummy models that we created for preview and also for testing our app because we didn't have the backend all right now we need to make sure that uh, first of all let's change this we are going to rename this to avoid name conflicts now let's call this as sample follows user all right, so that has been renamed. Now, the other thing that we need to make sure is to have a function here to follow the user. Now, this is going to be a mapper to map to our domain model. All right, so now here we have our mapper method to map this simple follows user to our follows user. Now, if we go back now inside onboarding user item.kt, here we need to replace sample user and to take just follow user now choose the one from the domain dot model all right now our circle image composable now we need to comment click there to make sure that uh, the url that circle image accept is nullable so we need to make this uh, nullable now here we need to take sample users and we need to map this to follow a user. All right, now we need to go where onboarding user item is used in the onboarding section.kt. All right, so now here also we're going to have some errors that we need to fix quickly. Now for the follow user, this is still passing our sample uh, user. We need to take follows user. All right, so after pointing our onboarding section to follow user, we need to go where onboarding section is called and that is inside our home screen.kt. Here also, we will need to fix a couple of things. Okay, so now we need to open our home view model.kt. Here in the home screen view model, we are going to change onboarding UI state a little bit. Uh, first of all, we don't need this is loading anymore and we are also going to remove this loading error message instead we will introduce a new ui state class holder and this one is going to be called as home refresh state that is going to be responsible for the refreshing and of course we will change this from home post ui state and we instead going to name it as post feed ui state now Coming here, right below post feed UI state, we are going to declare our home refresh state. That is also going to be a mutable state of home refresh state. Now, coming here inside fetch data method, we are going to replace uh, these two with just the home screen. I mean, home refresh state is refreshing. We will set that to true. Now, to be able to fetch our onboarding user suggestion, we need to take the use case here. So we will need our private val get suggested, get followable users use case, this one. Now we need to scroll again. Now inside the fetch, we need to cut this because we're now going to use our use case to fetch actual real suggestions. All right, now in here, we will have our suggested users. Now let's call this Let's call it as users. So call a get followable user use case. And now we can create a method below 
uh, here to handle this get followable use case result now we will create a private method handle onboarding result this is going to take result uh, list of follows user then in here we are going to use our one expression when result is result.error we will not do anything so when we have a successful result then we need to check now if result.data is not empty in that case we will now change this should show onboarding it will say that to follows user that is not empty and for forward followable users um okay so this is still pointing to a sample follow user we need our onboarding ui state now to point to follows user from our domain.model so coming here inside fetch data we need to call handle onboarding result and we pass the list of users all right now let's go back inside home screen.kt now here for the refreshing we need to take now our home refresh state so we pass here home refresh state that is refreshing all right now guys one more thing that you can see here is that we have a bunch of callbacks on user click on follow button click on post click on profile click on like click on comment click and then we have the refresh and onboarding finish now we can replace all these callbacks with a seed interface in our view model that define each one of these actions so if we go back here inside home screen view model state right below post feed ui state i will define here a seed interface home ui action so we have the follow user action we have the post like action the remove onboarding action we have the refresh action and load more post action all right now let's go back inside home screen.kt now right below home refresh state we can pass now a new parameter on ui action let's go back here that is going to replace unfollow button click onboarding finish we need to remove onboarding finish the refresh also we can remove that so we will have on comment click and on post click now this leads to the same post detail screen so we will remove this and keep just on post click that we are going to rename to a navigation callback instead of calling it on post click we have the unlike click we can now remove it and on user click and on profile click they also both of them lead to the same profile screen so we will remove this on profile click now we are still with this on user click and on post click that we are going to rename on user click i will rather call it on navigation on profile navigation and for the on post click you will name it as on post detail navigation now for the on profile navigation instead of taking follows user we will instead take a user id and then once on the profile we can fetch the profile um, information all right and now we are going to replace refresh data with on ui action home ui action dot refresh action now for the on user click we will build this lambda and then call on profile navigation it dot id right now for the on follow button click let's build this lambda and then from here we will just call on ui action home ui action dot follow user action and we will pass this user here now it had this boolean to tell us whether we are following or unfollowing but i think that's not necessary because for the follows user we already have the is following boolean that we are going to toggle each time uh, the user click on the follow button right now for onboarding finish we will just call on ui action home ui action dot remove onboarding here for on post click we will call on post detail navigation because we want to navigate to the detail screen all right so it says uh, now it says here implicit parameter each of enclosing lambda is shadowed now for this we can just replace the it here with post and then we will pass uh, post over here now for the on profile click we will call on profile navigation because we would like to navigate to the profile screen for now it's an integer so let's call this too long of course uh, later we will replace uh, this with uh, the actual long uh, user id and then for on like click we will call home ui action dot post like action now this expect a uh, post and it finds a string we can go inside post list item now here we have this on a like click just pass at the post 
and so we will come here and pass the world post okay now let's go back here inside home screen.kt now here it says it's require us to give the domain post but it found the dummy post we can now open this um dummy post and here we are also going to have this on to the main post let's rename this to sample post Okay, so that's where we can remove this package qualifier and then just import post from the domain. Right, and now for the post ID, here we define our post ID to be a string. Uh, I guess we can just call to long because we have defined this to be string integers. So we can just call this to long without worrying if this is going to crash our application. All right, now let's close this so from here we can call to the main post for now and then for on comment click we will call on a navigation now here it requires us a sample post but it found a string oh on post navigation has been replaced with a sample post now um here we need to point to our post domain or we can just leave the sample post for now all right so for on comment click now since on post uh detail navigation requires us to pass our sample post we can go to post list item again and for on comment click we are just going to pass our post uh let's say sample post for now so we will need to call just post all right then come back here inside uh, home screen and the error should be gone now for the refreshing here again we need to call home refresh state that is refreshing and so here lastly for the preview we need to cut this and we will paste the home refresh state post detail navigation and profile navigation like this all right so uh, that has been a lot of refactoring all right, so let's rebuild our project and uh, to make sure that nothing is broken here. All right, now here in postscreen.kt, of course, we are going to get uh, these errors because we have changed post list item. Instead of just taking a string, now it needs to take sample post. To quickly fix this, we can just pass empty lambdas like this. And later on, we will come to fix uh, this. Now, of course, home screen view model now is taking a get followable users use case. So we need to pass that and we can call this uh, get function and coin will inject the get followable users use case for us. All right. Now we also need to open home.kt because we have changed a lot of parameters for the home screen composable. And for now, we need to remove all this. Let's remove this as well. So here we need to pass on UI action. We can pass on profile navigation. Here we can use our navigator and dot navigate profile destination. Then lastly, we have the on a detail navigation. Here also we can use navigator dot navigate post detail destination. And above here we can also pass home refresh state and we'll pass view model dot home refresh state. All right, guys, now the build is done. Before we run our application test, I would like to show you some users that I have created with my demo project. Now I have five users here. Of course, we're going to create a new user so that um, some of these users will be suggested to us. And for that, we need to go. And from here, we are going to clear the application data. Click on storage and cache and then clear the storage. Okay, so now we can run the application. All right, so the app is launching. Okay, and now we have been sent to the login screen. We need to click here on sign up. We are going to create a new account. Okay, then let's create our new account. And as we log in on, the, on this screen, you can see that now these suggested users come from our server. So let me show you that again. You can see that we have um, Patrick Ngoi, uh, this Patrick here. 
and the other thing that you can see here is uh, the refreshing is not being uh, dismissed even after the data is loaded we'll fix that in a moment now of course uh, i guess the images are not showing because as you can see here in the database we constructed our url using this ip address since the router changes at this ip address every time that i reboot my computer now my current ip address is uh, 108 instead of 106 so what i'm going to do is to create a method to just remove this part of uh, the url and and replace with uh, the current IP address that I have. Once we deploy our application, our Ktor application, we will have a fixed uh, IP address so we don't have to worry about changing this every time. All right, now a simple solution would be to go here inside uh, common, inside a common package. And here we are going to create a util package. All right, now in this util package, let's create um, current URL mapper. Uh, just create this Kotlin file and in here i will paste uh, this code now we take the current base url and then we are going to to return the current url and take the one that we got from the server and subscript it starting from index 26 that will remove up to this part here and the remaining part will be just um this part here profile images and up to dot jpeg all right, so after doing this, we can now go inside um, circleimage.kt and not even there. Let's go just inside onboarding section. Now let's locate where we are calling um, circle image. All right, so now circle image is being called inside onboarding user item instead of the onboarding section.kt. Here is where we're calling circle image. Now we can take that this follows user dot image URL. Now since this is a string, we have created our extension function. We can call to current URL. Now of course uh, the, the image URL is nullable. All right, so now let's rerun the application. All right, so the app is launching and all right, there we go. Now you can see the actual images I set for these uh, accounts. Uh, these are just some images I found on the internet. So now we just need to fix this um, and see why this is not dismissing. All right, now the reason the refresh is not dismissed is because after we set this to refreshing is true, uh, we have requested our followable users then we have also set uh, the post feed but after that we haven't reset and uh, the refreshing to be false so we need to now call this right here is refreshing and we can set that to false let's again now uh, run our application all right so the app is launching and as you can see now this time the refresh has been dismissed the refreshing icon all right guys now for the follow action click we first of all need to go inside onboarding user item.kt now come here inside uh, this composable onboarding user item we have our follows button for now the text for this follows button is just on uh, this follow text label now here we will also need to have the unfollow for the case where the user is already following or has clicked the follow button so let's add a new string resource right below this follow text label we can paste a new string resource and follow text label and then come back here now for the text this time we are going to check if follow user that is not following in that case the text will be the follow text label but if we are already following then we will use unfollow text label and also for the button to be outlined or not we will remove the is following and just call follows user dot is following because we are more going to rely on the value of our model this follows user all right now after that we need to come back here inside home screen view model.kt now right below handle onboarding resort here we need to create a private a method follow user that takes in a follows user inside this method of course the first thing that we'll do is to launch a new coroutine now to follow or unfollow a user we will need our follow user use case so we can pass that here in the constructor of our view model Then coming back inside uh, the follow method. Now here we need to make use of our use case. 
Uh, so we'll declare this variable uh, result, then call, <laughs> then call follow or unfollow use case. We'll pass for the follow the user ID. We'll pass follow user dot ID for the should follow. We are just going to toggle follow user dot is following. Now immediately after that to to simulate what other social media actually do, we are going to change our onboarding UI state. Now we will make onboarding UI state dot copy. Now for the list of followable users, we will take the current list and then map it. If the follow uh, the follow user dot ID correspond to this follows user that we are trying to follow, in that case we will make a copy of it and we will toggle the is following. Else we will just return uh, the current follows user. Then right below this, we will use a when expression on the result that we got here after calling follows or unfollow use case now if we encountered an error then we're going to reset our onboarding ui state right and toggle the is following again now if the result was successful we will not do anything since we have already changed the ui state all right now we need to, a way to call this follow user now if you scroll down here we have home ui action uh, seed interface that defines all the actions we can perform on the home screen now we need a method on UI action and we'll put that right below this follow user and now this is the method that we will call inside home.kt file so open home.kt we have our on UI action and in here we need to call view model dot on UI action and we will pass our home UI action now for the follow user action now we are making use of this uh, follow user that we have here Right now to test uh, the follow or unfollow use case, we need to run our application and at the same time I would like to bring a terminal here and let's run the select all from users again. Now you can see that we have this uh, user poll that have no follower or following. Now the following count here is zero and the followers count also is zero. Okay, I can see that we are getting an error and of course because now the home screen view model needs to be passed uh, the follow or unfollow use case so we need to call get right now let's rerun the app and i will continue with the explanation so what i was saying here is that this user here poll has a zero following and a zero follower we will perform now the following and we will see that these numbers are going to be increased right let me bring my screen the app already launched okay let's now try to follow uh, obed kaiser if I click on the follow, now you can see that uh, the button has been updated. Now we have an outline button with uh, the text to unfollow. Now if we come here and run the select all from users again, you can see now uh, Paul is now following one person. And of course, uh, Obed Kaiser that we just followed has two followers because uh, the other one came from my demo project. Let's try to unfollow. Right. So we will come here again and run the select all from users and as you can see now Paul has a zero following let's now try to follow John and also Peter Monk and here we should expect to see two followings for Paul and here is our two following count for Paul all right so the following and unfollowing action is working now the remaining thing that we need to do for this onboarding section is to dismiss at the onboarding section when the user clicks here uh, on the done button all right uh, one more time we go back inside home screen view model.kt now right below this follow user method we will create another method to dismiss at the onboarding section all right now to dismiss at the onboarding section we will create this method here dismiss onboarding now of course uh, this is from my demo project now the name here is should show onboarding and we need to replace this with false the first thing that we are doing here is to check if this user has followed um some people or has followed at least one person so we are going to call our onboarding ui state dot followable user to try to see if there is any user that they have followed if they haven't followed anyone now uh, we will create a variable for all the errors messages that we need to show on the home screen later that's why i have this to do but if they have followed someone then we are going to change the onboarding ui state so here we said should show onboarding to false and the list of followable user we replace that with an empty list and then we call fetch data again all right and now we need to call this a dismiss onboarding here on ui action for the remove onboarding action now we need to call dismiss onboarding okay so let's run our application 
how we need to unfollow oops i hope the action actually worked before otherwise the yeah it will just return okay okay now the unfollow was successful before the app was closed here let's follow um obed kaiser and we are also going to follow let's let's say maybe mr deep and then we can click on the uh, done button and you can see that our page has been uh, refreshed now the onboarding section is not showing anymore if we dismiss the app and let's close the application and let's open that again now here this time as you can see since we have already followed um, some people now the onboarding section is not showing anymore all right we are now going to start with the post feature and that is going to come in the next part episode 16 part 4 for the post feature here on the home screen for the post feature of course we're going to implement our own custom pagination we are also going to implement the like feature for our posts all right, I'll see you in the last part of this episode 16 and for now, take care.